From Prince William's favorite chocolate biscuit cake to Camilla's scrambled egg, the surprisingly down-to-earth dining habits of the royals. Greetings from Royal Family Lud My Channel. It's simple to imagine the royal family enjoying a state banquet while wearing their finest regalia and dining on delectable fare. But the family also enjoys eating straightforward fare. On occasion, they may be seen indulging in fish and chips while performing royal chores. The Princess of Wales even conducts her own grocery shopping, and her favorite dessert is a straightforward sticky toffee pudding. King Charles is a staunch supporter of organic foods and farming. When pursuing Kate Middleton during their time at university, Prince William put his culinary prowess to the test by preparing her meals like spaghetti bolognese in an effort to win her heart. Thank you. Please subscribe to my channel. Here, FEMA Isle exposes the royals' most commonplace eating practices, which also include a McVitie's biscuit wedding cake. For several generations of royal diners, the chocolate biscuit cake has proven to be an appealing snack. The crispy chocolate dessert, according to former royal chef Darren McGrady, was a mainstay at the Queen's afternoon teas. According to Harper's Bazaar, Darren claimed that the Queen would consume the entire cake and that if she ever left the castle without eating it all, a chef would have to accompany the cake. Now, he continued, the only dessert that gets reordered every day till it runs out is the chocolate biscuit cake. She'll eat a tiny piece of cake every day until there's just one tiny piece left, but you must send that up because she wants to consume the entire cake. Prince William and Prince Harry inherited the Queen's liking for chocolate biscuit cake, which Carolyn Robb, a former chef to King Charles and Princess Diana, characterized as a firm favorite in the royal nursery. In addition to a multi-tiered fruit cake, Prince William even made the flavor one of his wedding cakes for his 2011 nuptials to Kate Middleton. Chefs at McVitie's constructed an enormous version of the cake using 1,700 cookies and 17 kilograms of chocolate after receiving the recipe from Buckingham Palace. As prevalent in British society as it is in the royal household, fish and chips is reportedly enjoyed by a long list of royals. Queen consort Camilla stated that fish and chips wrapped in paper is one of her favorite cuisines in an interview with her son and culinary writer Tom Parker Bowles for You magazine. That odor, she remarked, fish and chips made properly are unbeatable. It appeared that William and Kate also enjoyed this meal as a snack frequently. They originally met while attending Standrews University, and they were regular customers at the renowned Anstruther Fitch Bar in the seaside village of Anstruther. During their journey to Scotland in 2021, the pair could not resist going back to the Chippy for a trip down memory lane. The couple paid £7.95 for a paper-wrapped takeout haddock dinner, which they ate on a bench on the pier before returning for ice cream. The Queen allegedly used to love a fish and chip takeout during her visits to Scotland, according to a royal insider. When in Balmoral, the source told Fabulous Digital, she very rarely treats herself to fish and chips. A footman is sent to get it from the nearby town of Belader. The statement reads, When a student inquired about the Queen's pizza eating habits in 2019, Kate was at a loss for words. She was at a community garden in Islington. I don't know, that's such an excellent question, she retorted. Maybe I should question her the next time I see her. Darren McGrady clarified the situation by telling Mail Online that he never served the Queen pizza. I cooked for the Queen for 11 years, but I never once gave her pizza, he claimed. When we were in Palermo, Sicily, aboard the HMY Britannia, the Queen didn't even have it on the menu. After the royal feast, the chefs had to on shore to test it. The celebrity chef went on to say, however, that the Queen's grandchildren, Prince William and Prince Harry, also liked the well-known Italian snack. I didn't really start making pizzas until I moved to Kensington Palace, he continued. If Nanny had allowed it, William and Harry would have eaten it every night. They cherished it. Kate also acknowledged enjoying the dish and revealed that she prefers bacon over spicy pepperoni as a topping. According to former royal chef Darren McGrady, sticky toffee pudding is the simple school canteen favorite dessert of the Princess of Wales, a mother of three. In an interview with Delish, he shared the recipe for the dish that was served at Buckingham Palace. It calls for sprinkling chopped dates with baking soda, before adding the cake batter of eggs, butter, flour, and sugar, which he would mix with the liquid date mixture. He would first melt muscovado sugar to form the sticky sweet glaze. He would then steam the cake for an hour. 
The Queen loved this in Sandringham when it was terribly cold outside and when she was at Balmoral, and the rest of the royal family did too, according to Darren and Kate. Although it is reported that many senior royals prefer an egg-centric breakfast, the royal family has not always had a good relationship with eggs. Charles allegedly requested seven eggs be boiled for him each day, only eating one to ensure it was prepared to perfection, according to Jeremy Paxman's 2006 book on royalty. Because Charles, employees were never quite sure whether the egg would be precisely to the satisfactory hardness, a sequence of eggs was boiled. Then placed out in an ascending row of numbers, he wrote, Charles was compelled to refute the assertions made in the section titled Frequently Asked Questions on the Clarence House website, which asked, Does the Prince of Wales have seven boiled eggs cooked for his breakfast, but only eat one, as claimed in Jeremy Paxman's book on royalty? No, he doesn't and never has at breakfast or any other time, the royal retort stated. In addition to her husband, Camilla is rumored to adore scrambled eggs for breakfast, Charles Gloucestershire Estate Highgrove was home to pedigree hens and bespoke eggs that were in high demand. The Queen occasionally substituted scrambled eggs for special K and fresh fruit for breakfast. The Queen's preferred egg recipe, which called for nutmeg and lemon zest, was handed to Australian dietitian Lee Holmes. Ma'am enjoyed to sometimes start the day with a protein-rich breakfast and these eggs were customized to the way that she particularly preferred them, she wrote on her website. On rare occasions, the eggs would be served with kippers, smoked salmon, and a grating of truffle. When they initially started dating, William reportedly prepared dinners for Kate, including spaghetti bolognese, in an effort to win her heart. The mother of three remarked to Mary Berry on a Berry Royal Christmas in 2019, in university days he used to cook all sorts of meals. I believe he was attempting to win me over at that point, such as bolognese sauce. Later, the prince provided the recipe for his handmade bolognese sauce for the charity publication A Taste of Home, which featured 120 dishes prepared by the UK's greatest chefs and celebrities to commemorate the passage's 40th anniversary. Although he acknowledged he wasn't an excellent chef, William, who has been the passage's royal patron since 2019, shared his recipe because he feels sharing makes people who are experiencing homelessness feel right at home. To make the sauce, heat the oil and butter in a large saucepan over medium heat. Once the onion has just started to soften, add the carrot and celery and stir-fry for a few minutes. Crumble the mince with a fork, then add it to the pan and swirl to combine everything. Cook without letting the meat brown until it is no longer pink. Pour the wine in and simmer until all of it has evaporated. After that, reduce the heat to medium, stir in the milk, and simmer the mixture until the milk has evaporated. Add salt and pepper to taste after incorporating the tomatoes and puree. For about three hours, simmer the mixture very, very gently uncovered, stirring occasionally. When your sauce is prepared, start a large pot of water to boil and salt it with a teaspoon. Pasta should be added to the water, thoroughly mixed with a wooden spoon, and cooked as directed on the package flow freely. Place the spicy sauce in each of the four bowls with the pasta. Serve the parmesan in a small dish and garnish with parsley.